I picked up this planer used a while ago and I did several videos on it and I invite you to check those out and I had to build this Thien Cyclone separator to help capture all the dust in the chips that the planer puts out and it works pretty well on its own but it works even better if it's hooked up to my central vacuum dust collection system and I thought I would spend a few minutes just describing how I ran the duct work because I think I did it a little bit differently than most people do. When putting together the dust collection system I decided to go with HVAC steel duct work uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, primarily the dust port on my dust deputy is 5 inches and you can't get PVC in 5 inches, you can get it in 4 or 6. Secondly, when you start to get the Y's and the T's and the specialty fittings, uh, they get pretty expensive whether it's in steel or PVC. But you can get these saddles in steel where you can cut them onto a piece of ductwork without a huge amount of effort. And these are slightly more economical. Uh, if you're familiar with ductwork, this is common knowledge but they make these nifty little adapters here where if you line up the seams you go straight through and that's not terribly interesting but if you turn it and alternate the seams then you get a swept 90 and obviously you can change the orientation of these to get all sorts of compound strange angles you can get for example offsets with them and gentle sweeps and again, you can get angles in two directions, so not only are you bending a little bit in this direction, but in this direction, you can kick a little bit that way. So these are kind of nifty little pieces, and I think they make laying out steel, uh, steel ductwork a little bit easier than PVC, although neither one of them are very difficult. And the metal ductwork is less bulky. So these are all 4-inch, and this is a 3-inch piece of PVC. So this is three and a half inches outside diameter, and these are four. But this is three inches for an inside diameter, and also these are significantly lighter than a similar size PVC. It's not all metal ductwork is created equal. These pieces here are galvanized. This is steel. This one's actually made of aluminum. Very light, very thin. Almost feels like aluminum foil. And I don't have a piece to show you here. But stovepipe, uh, the stuff used on wood stoves, is a much heavier gauge steel and significantly harder to work with than uh, any of these. Here's a simple mock-up I have on a way to secure the ductwork in an area. You just need a chintzy angle bracket and a hose clamp. And when you tighten this down, assuming that this is firmly attached to something like a joist, this will hold the ductwork very nicely. And when you tighten the clamp, it forces this more or less into a circle. So you're uh, accomplishing two things. You're maintaining the shape of the ductwork and you're securing it. So here's a bracket that I made to support the ductwork uh, right in the area where I think I'm going to be attaching hoses and whatnot. So these two screws on either end go up into the joist. The band clamp will sit here. And it will cradle the ductwork in it like that. And again, as you tighten the band clamp, it wants to make the duct into a circle and this cradle will stop the duct from moving uh, left, right, up, down, etc. So this should hold it pretty pretty securely. So here's another quick view of how I'm supporting and bracketing this. This piece is going to come down out of the ceiling and this blast gate is going to sit out over my table saw. I created these two ring brackets attached to a 2x3 here and I have a little bracket that allows me to clamp using a hose clamp the bracket to the four inch pipe and the brackets of course attached to the wood. So this piece is going to be over my table saw. Here's the blast gate and I'm thinking for the foreseeable future I'm going to be putting hoses and whatnot on this junction and I want this to be really well supported. 
So this piece here is going to attach to a piece that's attached to a joist to my uh, to the ceiling above. Well, and there's the port sitting up above my table saw. And here's a view of that bracket installed. I ended up putting a second angle bracket on it to help it from uh, tipping a little bit left to right. I will pan down. You can see there's my table saw, my cup of coffee. And back up to the port. It's running over there behind the duct. And it comes out here behind the duct and runs down. And it runs over to my dust collector, my central vacuum system here. I did several videos on this many years ago and I invite you to check them out if you want to see how I built it. So this Harbor Freight hose doesn't quite accept 4 inch HVAC fittings. It's awfully close. I think I'm going to be able to use this crimping tool to decrease this diameter and get that to work. So I have that on with the clamp. It seems to be holding. And the other end of the hose is up in the port I have in the ceiling. And these chintzy Harbor Freight blast gates, when I turn the dust collector on, it tends to want to close the blast gate. So I have to put a piece of tape on it to stop it from partially closing. I guess that's a feature. Well, that's all I have for the sky. Works well so far. I have plans in the future to put a dust port overhead here on my table saw to help control some of the dust that comes flying off the blade, but that's going to be another video. And as always, thank you for stopping by. Uh, if you got something out of it, please let me know. If you got anything to add, please leave a comment. And as always, keep your eyes out for the next one.